Hey, what's up LEGO Star Wars fans and YouTubers? This is Derek Von S. I really appreciate, I'm almost near 300 subscribers. I really like to display my sets and show my LEGO museum, so to say. And um, I, I want to review um, each set that I get now. I want to uh, backdate them. And uh, right now I'm going to review on the uh, Imperial TIE Fighter from 2021. Set number... I'm sorry, 75300, this is 8 plus with 432 um, pieces, 3 minifigures, and this retails for $39.99. This finally came back in stock um, at lego.com and I pre-ordered it with the X-Wing, but I'm actually glad I cancelled the order and I'm happy with the uh, Poe Dameron X-Wing and I do not like how the X-Wing, uh, you can't change the landing gear in the front. But here's a 360 spin around of the Imperial TIE Fighter. And this thing is beautiful and this is really durable just like the AT-AT that we got recently. If you want to play this with a kid, I think it's very durable. And it looks great, um, great part usage. Um, there's some new pieces on the side to um, make these uh, sides uh, connect, which I'll show you in a little bit here. Um, the, uh, the front opens up in the front and also on the top opens up and um there is a kind of a way you have to um put the um uh imperial fighter in you always have to kind of lift up their arms and bend their legs but um these are kind of like little hand controls on the inside um with these uh clear red studs um i also um change this around a little bit and uh, i i put um the uh tile with the stud in the middle just to put his gun on um just because you can't fit him in here um without the gun i think this is absolutely um incredible um you can close that up easily and while i'm here here is the new piece there's just uh three technic pins um this is very similar to most star wars stuff uh where you attach the wings uh separate just like the razor crest um, but the only real problem I've heard is that this piece is not made in that light silver color. And the only, um, hexagonal lines are in the UCS version. But there's just so much playabil playability and this thing is strong. Um, sometimes on some, uh, the wings will fall apart a little bit. But most of these things, um, I can fix like pretty much on my own. So, um, here's a look, uh, maybe at the bottom of it. We just have that larger piece. And this piece, I think we need to start a petition for them to um, display this on the box with it in the back in the correct way. Because I've heard so much, um, just as much of like debate over whether a Star Wars set is a UCS set. Um, I really think that um, they need to fix this uh, cockpit piece and just make it go in the right, um, in the right direction. Because... I've been uh, collecting Lego uh, toys and Lego since um, my younger years, and I always remember my TIE Fighter going this way, so I want to almost start a petition here, kind of like the 501st Battle Pack, like, Lego, make the TIE Fighter piece correct. But we finally um, get the uh, the green, um, I'm, I'm sorry, the uh, spring-loaded shooters, which I've actually already shot off. And uh, let me see if I can find them. Okay, and uh, here is one. And I really did not plan on doing this during the video. Um, I was actually thinking about uh, doing my lightsaber bit. Having it as Derek Von S. But I'm more of like the Harry Potter guy. But um, I'm a geek and I like Harry Potter and Star Wars. I'm sorry if I'm ranting now. I'm going to shoot this uh, green... Uh, spring-loaded shooter right at the camera actually okay very cool so i lost that and um that is a great um update to that okay one more 360 i'm going to compare it with um the only other tie fighter i have unfortunately i have the um uh rise of skywalker the uh dorito i guess so to say uh tie fighter and uh, the only cool thing about this is that it comes on the stand and um really like there's not really that much difference um for the size of this um i'm gonna uh, spin this around I, I just don't like 
the triangular uh, thing they were going for. Um, I, I don't know what Disney or Kathleen Kennedy was coming up with, but um, I'm pretty sure George Lucas would not have approved of this um, Dorito TIE Fighter. So um, there's a comparison. Um, I'm kind of like a TIE Fighter virgin, so I can't really compare it to a whole lot. Um, I know there's that $80 Rogue One TIE Fighter that is very nice. Okay, here's a look at the box. This is a uh, pretty uh, beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we have the uh, the uh, Death Star 2 in the background, which I hope we get a new Endor set because I'm um, I'm working on my Cantina with the Obi Wan Hut and the Trouble on Tatooine and Land Speeder, and I already have my Hoth scene um, pretty ramped up uh, minus the shield doors. Okay, so here's a look at the box. This is a nice uh, $40 box size. Um, here is the uh, booklet. And um, I do want to look at the back to see if um, the Imperial Shuttle has the blue lightsaber for Luke. Which is a little bit um, uh, unfortunate, but it could be rare that it was printed um, on accident. So yeah, um, that's pretty pretty disappointing. But I've heard, uh, lately, they have updated this to the green lightsaber. So, um, these are the March and uh, January sets. I got the Trouble on Tatooine and the TIE Fighter. I do not think I will buy the X-Wing, um, just because I, I really like the Poe Dameron one. Um, but uh, this booklet has, let me see here, uh, about 84, 85 pages. Here's the random win robot on the back. Uh, nothing too special about that. And um, I normally don't do this, but uh, lastly, I will show you the minifigures. Let me uh, zoom in here. I eventually want to move my little setup in the basement and put my Star Wars posters behind it. But um, here's um, NIL8, like Annihilate. This is um, one of the uh, new uh, droid figures. Um, I put this in my uh, Death Star, actually, um, just, to, just for an extra figure. But the only updates for this figure and this is a really nice figure, either way. Um, it has the uh, molded head. Um, the only difference is the uh, lines on the torso. The newer one is printed, so this it could be like Annihilate um, to the second power or something. Like, who knows, maybe Annihilate um, version 2 can maybe uh, destroy Annihilate. Okay, so um, here are um, the uh, Family Guy uh, Stormtrooper uh, figure that came with the set and um just in case this could be the advent calendar from this year but um i matched up the, the newer uh, stormtroopers in the cloud city and i have all the um okay so this is the uh, angry clone face so the one that actually comes in this set um does have um a different face expression no alternate face but as i was saying i like to um that almost looks like luke um, I like to put the uh, Family Guy Troopers all together. Um, I have two of them in the uh, Cloud City, and I have about eight in my Death Star. Okay, and uh, the uh, last figure, let me um, see if I can find this uh, pilot here that I've placed. Okay, I love this new light, and I love uh, my little spinning apparatus. I hope you like my uh, pretty much Iron Man Hall of Armor uh, thing to uh, show my figures. But this is the uh, TIE Fighter Pilot. And again, uh, he does not have the angry clone face. Um, they have updated that. And uh, this is some nice printing on the uh, helmet. This one looks more like Lucius Malfoy. This is a great figure. I think this could be like pretty similar to like Moff Gideon. I can't wait to get that Mandalorian Star Cruiser. Okay, so um, I'm sorry if I babbled on. And uh, before I end this video, I want to show you... Um, do you think that I should make a video about this? I got this uh, $30 uh, R2-D2 from um, the uh, 40 year anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. And I paid $30, $30 from uh, AMC from The Last Jedi. I guess they had a whole bunch of these left. But apparently they go for like 100 bucks or so. So I might take a video on this. And if you give me one moment, I will show you my room updates. And after I get my um, uh, Marvel uh, San Diego Comic Con set and also my Cantina uh, Tatooine sets, um, I'm going to uh, do an update video real quick here. Let me show you. I just added the A-Wing. 
Starfighter, and uh, this matches up really nice with uh, my uh, Yoda, which isn't technically the UCS, and the Nebulon, and also we have the Death Star. Posters, 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 and uh, here is where I'm going to put my Moss Isla Cantina. I'm all set. I uh, rebuilt the uh, Advent Calendar Obi Wan Hut. I also got that with the Land Speeder. Here's the Trouble on Tatooine stuff. Uh, here is my uh, Hoth scene, um, which I think, in my opinion, is uh, better than the Battle of Hoth. Um, just with the new AT-AT Walker, I think that thing is beautiful. Here is my Empire Strikes Back stuff with the Millennium Falcon, Yoda's Hut, and also the uh, Betrayal of Cloud City. Then I moved uh, the Mandalorian. I'm sorry, this is really dark. You probably can't see it, but Mandalorian stuff, uh, that's the... Uh, AT AT or ATST. I wish the uh, lights were uh, glowing like in the TV show. There's the uh, Revenge of the Sith stuff with the Mustafar and the Anakin Tie Fighter and the uh, 501st Battle Pack. Here is all my Marvel stuff, which I've taken the Far From Home plane because I need it cleaned for it being white. Here is the uh, Infinity War and Endgame and miscellaneous Marvel stuff. We have the uh, Rise of Skywalker. We have the uh, Hogwarts Classroom books with the Monster Book of Monsters. Um, a section that I did not clean. I have the back of Flourish and Blots in the back of Harry's house. Here's my miscellaneous Harry Potter stuff. Here is my Magnificent Castle. And I'm actually going to get another white shelf to make this go ahead in L shape for when Hogsmeade comes out. Um... I honestly wouldn't think this video wouldn't be would be worth it for still babbling at this point, but I'm actually going to spread out this whole Harry Potter 2018 on uh, section. So I'm really excited about that. Um, one thing I forgot to note is I added um all the uh, gray colored um cylinders throughout this, and um I still want to uh, replace this uh, green. Unfortunately, we're getting the Great Hall again. Um, but I might just build the Chamber of Secrets or just display it from the back. And then maybe I can even put maybe some of these uh, tables. Um, I don't know if you could see that or not. Um, maybe in front of that. Okay, and I finally organized my closet. And uh, here is the uh, pretty much Star Wars and Marvel boxes up at the top are all my uh, Harry Potter boxes. Um, it is really um, hard to see in here. Let me... Uh, try to let me uh let you see that because that was on my to-do list i definitely did check that off and uh with my tatooine set i'm getting the marvel san diego comic-con set so i made maria rambo and i got some uh random um african-american figure for that and uh, i'm really happy about that i'm gonna put the wonder woman and black widow sets together i sold my batmobile for 200 um i got a 10 out of 10 on the shipping um, unfortunately, we do not have four private drive, but there's the burrow. Here are my um, uh, Marvel uh, McDonald's figures. And um, I'm thinking about maybe selling all these. I have the Wanda and the Vision one out. Okay, so I hope everyone's staying safe out there. And I definitely dragged this video out more. But look forward to the A-Wing and also the uh, Cantina with uh, Obi-Wan and Landspeed reviews coming out very shortly. Uh, and uh, feel free to comment and subscribe. Thank you very much.